Hey folks, how you doing? Dern D back with you. I continue our Let's Play of Stellaris. Uh, not Stellaris. Stellaris is my other Let's Play. This is the Hero You Let's Play. Um, so, tonight is the deadline. Actually, I should make a save and call it that save. Deadline. Because if we don't catch the thief tonight, then that is all she wrote. Um, we know that the thief goes from our hallway to the Great Hall, and we know that he goes through that relief. It says it, he leaves sticky prints on the relief, but um, to me, anyway, uh, the relief looks the same no matter what. So, I don't know, maybe I'm missing a clue or something? Um, I guess we'll find out tonight. Maybe we'll get, like, a game over and I'll have to restore. Uh, or maybe I'll have to turn to a guide to figure it out. Uh, looks like we can do a throwing attack here. Empty wine bottle. He loses minus one for that. It's not much, but I'll take it. Should be close enough to attack now. There we go. Minus six. Seem to be doing more damage than we were before. So we'll hunt rats for the next uh, few hours and... Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't, um... I didn't work in the... lunchroom today. So that means we're gonna have a little less money. I think we have like 30 Lyra or something right now. That should be enough to get us into the card game if, uh... we get to do a card game this week. Dire Rat. Uh, wanna take that? Yes. So we gotta earn one money one way or another. So uh, we haven't been through here yet to the tasting room. Uh, examine the gate. Okay, I oiled the hinges. Uh, let's see if we can pick the lock in there. Got it. Open the unlock gate. I guess it was gated content. Good thing we've been practicing our lock picking skills. Uh, okay, there is a table and chair. Oh, and a whole bunch of drats. Okay, well, hopefully we survive this. Looks like we might get a little bit of reprieve since some of them are far away. Good. Yeah, they're doing the Bruce Lee thing where it's one at a time. Oh, that was a nice hit. Almost took him out in one shot. Okay, we do have a bandage, so we might end up finally using that. Ten, good. Missed by him? Spectacular. Dire rat. Lots of rat pieces. Or drat pieces. Uh, some more bottles down here. We can't do anything with them. Barrels. Bottles here. Take a bottle. Take a bottle. Golden wine? What is that? Golden wine. Examine. The gold embossed label on this bottle says golden wine. It isn't just hype. It must be a very expensive beverage. We could sip it. I'm going to hold on to it, though, because we do have an option to give gifts to people. Uh, let's sift through the junk. I'm guessing that wine is the only thing of value here. Nothing going on there, except the... Uh, chance of getting tetanus. I'm kind of hoping this goes out to... Let's examine the gate. Uh, the hinges on this gate are rusty. Uh, interesting gate is locked. Well, it looks different. Uh, listen at the gate. Uh, might be something with claws. Okay. Let's oil the hinges. Let's pick the lock. We're not going to go through here because we have to make our way back. Uh, so, Gregor, except I can't spell, apparently. Uh, how are we doing for health? Bandage. Use the bandage. Feels cool and soothing. 14 out of 20. Let's go through, uh, if we can. It's kind of hoping it would come out to, like, the main hall. Ooh, there is, is like, a 
large ant thing. Okay, yeah, we are booking it out of here. Uh, 750, okay. I thought it was getting close to 10 for some reason. We might encounter some drats on the way back. But I'm guessing those mantis dudes are uh, a lot tougher. Yeah, combat right there. Cla glad I used the bandage. We should buy, like, another one. Sean looking dapper there. Okay. We did go up through here. I don't think there's any other exits going up that way, though, so... We'll leave that alone for now. No wolf tonight. See if Krieger maybe has something else for sale. Uh, just want to make sure we still have our traps. Yes. Uh, sell loot. Shop at the store. We have that. We have that. We'll buy a bandage. And we're going to back on out of here. Uh, I don't know if I have enough time to go back to the cafeteria and work there. It'd be great if I could. We can't go see Moira. Open the door. Uh, okay. Uh... Talk to her, uh, ask about her day, ask about work in the kitchen. Good. What a mess. All right, so we have 44. They recommend 50 for playing that game of uh, whatever it is that they, they play in the uh, rec room. I'm gonna make my way back to my room though because I want to see if we can catch the thief tonight if not uh, I may in fact restart the episode <laughs> without any of you knowing it and uh, look up a guide on, on what I'm supposed to do because um, yeah I'm it's beyond me at this point um, you know maybe I'm missing something with the relief I don't know I will study for an hour Okay, and we are going to save this as we better catch the blue devil, because if not, we're done. Uh, go to sleep. All right, let's get up and investigate. Uh, I'm not going to give the satisfaction of kicking the rogues out of the school. That thief goes down tonight. No matter what, Sean, let's do this. Let's catch that little blue bugger. There he goes. There he... I, I, I keep getting that stuck in my head. There she goes again. Okay. Yeah, we know that you're coming through here. Uh, examine the door. Uh, ripe apple. Listen. So, yeah, he is going through that relief, but... Uh, if I can't... I have to figure out a way to catch him. So there's the apples. There is another apple core here. Whoa. This is new. Pile of apple cores. Pile of apple cores, I guess the thief decided to eat his lunch here or supper or midnight snack. Uh, examine. Uh, there's a tacky mess. The apple cores weren't just tossed aside. They were laid in a pile as though the thief sat in front of the fire while he ate the apples. All right, so here we go. We're going to try setting a trap. We're going to place an apple near the pile. And we're going to use a gooey. Okay, 
Let's see what happens. So I, I'm kind of thinking we couldn't catch the thief any earlier in the game, but uh, hopefully I'm right about that. Hopefully we didn't fall asleep. Must have dozed off what woke me up. All right, here he comes. This is open. The cork. Hey, an apple. Yes. I guess I must have dropped it earlier. What do you know? It's my lucky night. The cork liked that. It's like a meep to me. Yucky, what is this? I'm stuck. Oh my, what's this? What if this stuff gets to my fur? I'll never get out. Or worse, I get stuck here to the floor and weather away to a pile of fur and swept away like a dust bunny. Cut down the prime of my life. I, the best finder of Castle Quirk. Lost. Uh, let's straight up confront him. So you're the one who's been going around stealing things from the castle. What? How? You mean you've been here all this time? You could have warned me this place was sticky. And what do you mean stealing? I don't steal anything. I find things. I'm the numero uno best in class finder in my whole tribe. You've been taking things from throughout the castle, and that makes you a thief. Well, if you're going to be mean about it, I only borrow a few with us lads and ends here and there. It's not like anyone will really miss them. So what do you want? Uh, let's explain the situation. If you don't return all the things you found at the castle, the headmaster will shut down the disbarred sparred class. If you don't return the headmaster's hat, he might shut down the entire school. No, he can't do that. You don't know what it's like. You don't know what it was like before the school came here. It was all dark and creepy. Drats prowled the halls. Nasty things slithered in the walls. There were no apples. Okay, so I agreed to bring back the stuff I found around here. You'll set me free, okay? Uh, let's be polite. Sure, it's a deal. I'll be happy to set you free. Then I'll let you let everyone know you that you were just borrowing what you needed, and that you really aren't a thief. Quirk like that. So about those apples, after I put the stuff back where I found it, will you leave me an apple here by the fireplace? That way I won't be tempted to go borrowing again. We'll see, after you return everything. Okie dokie boss, the deal's a deal, just let me go, I'll put the things back. But please, leave me an apple or two every so often so I don't pine away, okay? You'll be my best friend forever. Maybe we'll even meet here again some night, if I get enough apples, okay. Well, they're free, so... Journal updated. Z. Welcome back to class. I trust you used your spare time to improve your rogue skills. Your O'Connor clearly used his skills and wits to uncover the school thief. You have him to thank for the fact that this class will continue. Hey, O'Connor, would you care to tell the class what you discovered? Exaggerate. Be honest. Uh, let's be honest. For several nights, I had been tracking the noises using my stealth skills. I wasn't really stealthy. I was running. Looking for clues as to where the thief was going with my perception skills. I discovered that he was using a concealed door that led to the inner reaches of the castle. Therefore, I set a trap near the door and ambushed the thief. Who was it? Who was the thief? Was he one of us? No, the thief was not a student at the school. It was a quirk. A quirk? What is that? Quirks are full furry, uh, furry creatures with long, sharp claws who live in the walls of hidden places of the castle. That's how they managed to steal so many things. Why were they stealing from the school? The quirks decided to start a school of their own for other quirks. They stole the school supplies. Why did they steal the headmaster's hat? Since the headmaster is the boss of the school and wore the hat all the time, the quirk leader wanted to wear the hat to show that he was boss of the quirks. So, the plot twist in this mystery tale that the culprit of the school's crime wasn't a student, he was a teacher. Tomorrow's lessons will be on advanced climbing skills, so I suggest you brush up, brush up on your normal climbing this afternoon. You may also purchase a rope and grapnel for class. Will we be demonstrating our rope and grapple skills in tomorrow's class, sir? I'll be happy to bring my professional rope and grapnel. He has a professional rope, folks. Watch out. Not everyone in this class is as skilled as you profess to be, Herr Sosi. I will give others some opportunity to master the skill before I embarrass them. I will forewarn you in two days from now you will have a quiz and a test on your lockpicking skills. I assume that you have mastered the basic tool use art by now in class. I hope we have. All right. Uh, Got to save that. So we did catch the thief. Save. We caught him. Exclamation. Let's talk to Joel. It's very good of you to catch the thief. Must have been 
uh, unfortunate if Mr. Turk shut down the Disbarred Bards class. Uh, but I have added two more items to my little store. One is the rope and grapnel set that will come for in useful for uh, extracurricular adventuring. The other is an advanced lockpicking gadget called the Houdini 42. Uh, okay. Let's talk with him. How we, how are you doing? How are things going? I've been exploring some of the more hidden areas of the castle. Have you found the underground corridor? Where's that? I'd be happy to clue you into the secrets that I have to find it and use it for a modest fee. Buy a clue. To get to the underground corridor, you can climb down from the trap door in the center of the gazebo. The corridor leads to two doors that, alas, cannot be opened from this side. However, the staircase at the far end of the hidden hallway. Uh, from the hidden hallway, you can take the concealed door back to the dorm hallway. It's a useful path to take when you wish to avoid Mr. Turk's observation. Uh, ask about the rope and... Ah, we'll ask about him. How are things? Okay. Rope and grapnel. I have a very fine rope and grapnel that has a good house-breaking st steel of approval. It's just what you need for life's little ups and downs. Ask about the Houdini. So what's this Houdini thing you mentioned? There are some locks deliberately designed to defy ordinary lockpicking for those who need to use the Houdini 42. It's an essential tool for advancing your lockpicking skills. It's a bit of rumors. It seems that Mr. Turk was most displeased when he learned that the school thief was not a rogue. He implied that the thefts were some sort of plot staged by Vast Master von Erwald to make the rogues look good. Master von Erwald, needless to say, did not like having his honor impunged. It's a pity that I do not speak Germanish, so that I can appreciate some of the Master's more graphic responses. Okay. Browse the shop. How much is the rope and grapnel? It's 30. And how much is the Houdini? 55. Good lord. Um, well, let's buy the rope. And then that's... Can we sell the wine? No. I take it the wine is like a gift. Um... So how's our lock picking right now? Tool use is 32. I want to see if we can open those locks on the uh, desk. They're supposed to be the most basic thing. Um, pick the lock. Got it. Okay, that's good. I'm guessing we probably need the Houdini for this. Zam the safe. It's huge and intimidating. I can't imagine what would be hiding behind there. However, seeing this monstrosity in this room uh, is in a room for would-be lockpickers. It's probably empty. Open the safe. Take a great feat to open the safe. I don't want to waste such a Herculean effort on practicing. Examine. Uh, okay. So our tool use is pretty good right now. Uh, we're going to be practicing climbing soon, so let's go practice those skills. So the pressure is off now for the whole thief thing. Um, kind of wish it didn't drag on so long, because I feel like I've wasted uh, time that I could have been practicing instead of kind of looking around the castle. Erwald better not test us in using grapples, or we'll all fail the class. Ladders I can climb, ropes I can walk, climbing ropes not so much. Talk to Thomas. Ask about rope. How are you at rope climbing? Worse than I was at throwing daggers, as it turns out. So why aren't you over with Katie and Espy? I thought I'd let them struggle with it first. Uh, say something clever. The way class is going, we'll all be grappling with bigger problems than grapples, ropes, and quirks. You saved the class by catching the quirk. We should all thank you for that. You proved to everyone you deserve to be here at Hero University. It was just a quirk of fate that I'm here today. How's he doing? So where did you come from originally? You're clearly not from Sardonia. I grew up in Albion, but a few years ago my father was sent here to protect the island. My mother and I eventually joined him here. Then my father was killed. That's why I got the scholarship to come here, because my father was a hero. My father died when I was little. I barely remember him, so you're lucky to have your memories of your father. Okay. What's our relationship status right now? Reputation. Ask me still an acquaintance. Thomas is still an acquaintance, really? Uh, Turk is still an enemy. Uh, Aeolus, acquaintance, acquaintance. Or buddy with the cook. The quirk were an acquaintance. Librarian. Good friend with Gregor. 
are you ladies doing? Talk to Esme. So I gather you can't show me the rope, so to speak. Sean, this is rope. Rope, this is Sean. Good luck. Say something clever. I bet you can climb this rope if you keep trying. Just don't give up. Somehow you have roped me into it. Get to know. You don't know much about climbing where you come from then. No, we rovers keep our feet on the ground. Say goodbye. Uh, okay, so nothing else. Talk to Kitty. Ask Kitty about the ropes. So, you rope that master will cut you some slack when it comes to climbing. What can I say? The rope is bad news. Say something clever. When it, comes, when it comes time to climb, you can say nope to the rope, eh? Yeah, if I gotta climb, I'll take the stairs. In case you like that, better get going. Uh, let's try the rope. Probably look at the rope. Been climbing ropes since I could walk. This'd be easy. Climb the rope. We'll see. Climbing increase. Look at Shan go. I'm really coming up in the world. Uh, what's her skills? Climbing's 31. What about the ladder station? Practice climbing the rope ladder. It's too easy for me, really. Well, we'll practice this again. Uh, actually, no, we'll do, we'll do the tight roping. Look at the practice with the hook. I practiced enough for today, okay. Guess you can only do it once. Uh, walk the rope. See, that helps with climbing as well, so. We still haven't made it successfully across here. Is that what they mean by pound sand? Food time. It's my agility. 28. Alright, well, let's go get something to eat. Uh, we're probably going to work in the kitchen, because we are broke again after buying that grapnel. Uh, we definitely need uh, more cash over the next two days because we do want to get into that card game. Um, okay. Also, we want to see about going into the secret passage. We do know about it now. Uh, so it goes under the gazebo. So we'll see. We'll see. Open the door. What do we have for supper tonight? So no school thief. So school thief was Kirk. Kvirk? <laughs> I've met Meeps before, but not Kvirks. Meeps smell of earth and nature. The Kvirk smells more of dust and mildew. What do you expect from someone who scurries like a cockroach along old passageways in dark, in a dark, dank castle? He's like a dust mop with legs. You are very brave to face Kirk in the middle of the night all by yourself. It could have been real monster. Thank you for saving the disbarred bard, Sean. Yeah, you did good, Sean. Dinner time is over. Everyone should clean up their place and get out. If I see one scrap of food on the floor where you were, I'll have you mopping the floor here for a week. As long as we're not earning more demerits, open the door. Okay. Thankfully, we earned 15... Who's it's now? Uh, talk to her. So the school thief returned most of the things he stole, but he did not return my apples. That thief, you better not come to my kitchen again, or I'll be making him pay for the apples. He will be scrubbing pots and pans for the rest of the semester. Uh, ask about the chef. So where did you come from originally? My mother, she is a spirit talker from Yor Yorba. My father is a sailor from the something Bean Islands. My birthland was Fricky something. My homeland, she is the world. Uh, ask about Ricky. Where did she come from, Ricky? Ricky, she come from Mama. He he he. Ricky came from Northeast Guana. We met when I was exploring the cuisine there. Sh Chef Ify saved me. Bad people, they tried to sell me. Ricky, she be in cage. Very sad. I met Ricky in a marketplace. Ten of Cayenne. Uh, Ricky was in a small cage to be sold as a pet. I was horrified when Ricky spoke to me. Imagine selling people like that. Some people, they are cruel and not care about the ones they hurt. I had to buy Ricky from them, but when I tried to set Ricky free, Ricky wanted to stay with me. Ricky, she like you free. Uh, Ricky be very happy. Uh, ask about working. Do you have any work I could do? Ah, uh, there will always be work to do in the kitchen. Of course. Of course. I guess it's better than doing accounting. We've seen that one before. 
Good work, Mr. Shine Shine. Goodbye. And with that, it's time for me to say goodbye. It's the end of this episode. Hey, if you liked what you saw, think about liking the video, think about subscribing to the channel. Thank God we finally caught that thief. We'll see you next time. Take care. Have yourself a great day.